humans have been coexisting and evolving alongside dogs for centuries now. And today, we have so many different breeds, it's difficult to keep track. But there are some that are so exceptionally large and massive, it's hard to believe they're real. From the dog bred by the ancient Romans to the nicest but largest dog on the planet, here are 15 abnormally large dogs that actually exist. Number 15. Great Dane. The Great Dane is an amazing dog breed. They're huge, but very noble. And even if their size can look quite intimidating, they are an excellent family dog, if you have the space for it, of course. They are commonly referred to as a gentle giant or the Apollo of dogs, after the Greek god of pretty much everything. The record holder for the tallest dog ever was a Great Dane called Zeus. He measured a whopping 111 centimeters, which is almost four feet tall from paw to shoulder. They're believed to come from British Mastiffs bred with Irish Wolfhounds. They were used in the past to hunt down wild boar, which is incredibly impressive for a dog considering how aggressive wild boars can be. They've been around for thousands of years, and they're one of the most best-natured dog breeds out there. The only nuisance that you can find with this dog is that if the owner doesn't teach their dog not to jump on people from a very young age, they can literally knock you off your socks just by trying to say hello to you. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Tibetan Mastiff The Tibetan Mastiff is a very rare and imposing breed of dog. They are extremely hairy and fluffy. Some people even think they resemble a lion. The spectacular amount of fur is an adaptation to the extremely cold weather in the mountainous region of Tibet in China, so they keep warm and cozy. They can be quite territorial and, most of all, very brave, which makes them an excellent guard dog both for humans and for livestock. It's widely unknown the ancestry of the Tibetan Mastiff breeds, or even how they ended up in the region. But they've been around for a long time, and the Tibetan people also used them to protect their families from predators like wolves and snow leopards. They're very well-natured with the people and animals they know, but as soon as they catch sight of an intruder, they will never back down and might attack immediately. And because of their ferocity and their massive size, it's best advised to not keep a Tibetan Mastiff with another dog breed. For the safety of the other dog, of course. So even if they look like a gigantic real-life teddy bear, these dogs can be quite aggressive if they feel the situation calls for it, so always be aware when you approach one. Number 13. English Mastiff the English Mastiff is a classic dog breed, and even though they're absolutely huge, they are extremely loyal and great with kids, too. They are very gentle and great protectors of their family members. The male English Mastiffs can reach heights of over 90 centimeters from paw to shoulder, an impressive size. Their iconic broad head, wrinkly forehead, and black mask gives them an eternal expression of worry, which can be very cute for some people. They have a very dense and muscly body, which might give the impression that they need a lot of exercise when, in reality, they can be a little lazy sometimes. But on the good side, you can easily own a Mastiff in a city, as they'll be very happy just hanging out on the couch. But even so, most Mastiffs can overweigh a fully grown man. So it's not a breed that you want to take lightly. They are gigantic and extremely powerful, and despite their good character, it's always better to not piss off an English Mastiff. Although, if you want to own one of these gentle giants, there are some questions you should ask yourself beforehand. Like, for example, what would you do if your 200-pound pet doesn't want to enter your house? Number 12. 
Irish Wolfhound the Irish Wolfhound is not only considered one of the tallest dog breeds in the world, but they are always named as the longest dog. The most recent one being Feral the Dog, who was a total of 7 feet 9 inches from the tip of his nose all the way to the tip of his tail. They date back as far as 700 BC, and they're originally from Ireland. They were used as war dogs to drag men off horses and chariots because they're just that huge and strong. They're extremely good with children and very playful, but keep in mind, these are extremely large dogs, so they'll need a lot of space to roam around and run. Also, if you want to adopt an Irish Wolfhound, think about investing in an extra tall fence if you don't want your beloved pet to escape trying to hunt down a squirrel. The largest Irish Wolfhounds can be a lot taller than an adult human when they stand on their hind legs. They can look very imposing if you're not used to such gigantic dogs, and although they are very serene and calm, they can be quite fearless as well, as they were also used to hunt down and kill wolves on their own in single combat. Number 11. Saint Bernard when I say St. Bernard, you'll probably imagine the fluffy white dog in the Alps Mountains rescuing people with a barrel of brandy around its neck. And you wouldn't be wrong, except these dogs are so much more than that. They can be almost one meter tall, and on average, they weigh as much as an adult person. They are considered a very lovable and peaceful breed. They are basically gigantic teddy bears. But beware, they drool a lot. And by a lot, I mean astronomical amounts of drool. They are tracking dogs because their sense of smell is extremely developed, even for a dog, so they are excellent at finding lost travelers. They actually originated in the Swiss Alps, where they were bred by monks. There are two coat types of St. Bernard, the long-haired ones and the short-haired ones, but they only come in white with reddish or yellowish brown. And surprisingly, they are happier living inside the home with their families, meaning they are definitely not outside dogs, but they are nonetheless extremely good at sports like swimming and weight pulling. Overall, they are the perfect family pet, if you don't mind having mud and drool everywhere in your house. Number 10. Newfoundland Meet one of the world's toughest guard dogs, the Newfoundland breed. They're also known as the King of the Sea because of its passion for the water. That quality makes them the perfect fisherman's dog. They are extremely loyal and loving, gentle, but boy are they big. They are considered to be one of the most empathetic dog breeds in the world, which means they have an unstoppable desire to constantly help. The drive they have to work hard and serve their owners comes from its origins. They used to be used as pulling dogs for fishermen's boats in Canada. So they had to always be ready to jump into the water and get to work. They're very muscular and strong, and they can measure up to 28 inches from paw to shoulder. These are majestic dogs, with a soft and soulful expression that'll warm everyone's hearts. They come in gray, brown, and black colors. They're excellent with kids, as they're very easily trainable and have a very sweet temperament. So much so, they've won a reputation as being nanny dogs. They are noble, gentle giants that can weigh up to 150 pounds. Number 9. Dog de Bordeaux the Dogue de Bordeaux, or Mastiff of Bordeaux, is a French breed that can measure up to 26 inches from paw to shoulder and can weigh over 110 pounds. They have a short hair coat and they are extremely sturdy and muscular. It's also a very old dog breed, so much so that they've been around since before France was even called France. Although they can look very intimidating with their bulldog-like undershot jaw, their deeply furrowed brow, and their extreme Impressive eyes, they are actually very loyal, playful, and loving dogs. They are also immensely protective, which makes them a famously devoted guardian dog. In proportion to their bodies, they have the largest head in the canine world, and that means that a bite from one of these guys is certainly no joke. They can also be very stubborn and tend to want to be the dominant one, even with humans. 
So firm training from a young age is absolutely crucial for a healthy interaction with their family. But if raised properly, the Dogue de Bordeaux is a very sweet dog with a docile disposition. Number 8. Leonberger these magnificent dogs can be, on average, over 31 inches tall from paw to shoulder and weigh 170 pounds. The Leonberger is of German origin and it has a waterproof lush coat making it quite striking looking. Even if females are smaller, this breed is a whole lot of dog no matter the gender. But they're not just very large dogs, they're also extremely intelligent and they're capable of making their own decisions when presented with a problem situation. They're friendly and loyal and also hard workers. But don't be fooled by their sweet expression, they can be quite aggressive if provoked or if their family is in danger. They need a lot of daily exercise and attention, but if they live somewhere where they have open space to play around and are treated with care, they are excellent guard dogs that will always be friendly with every member of the family of all ages. That is, if you don't mind the astronomical amount of hair, you'll find absolutely everywhere. Because of that, it's best to brush their coat very often. Without proper training from a young age, they can actually be a bit mischievous and destructive. Number 7. Anatolian Shepherd this dog breed was created in the United States of America from various breeds from Anatolia, Central Turkey, hence their name. Their ancestors were the oldest known breed of domestic dog, and they were used as livestock guards for the farmers in the mountains. These dogs have been around for 6,000 years. That means they already existed back during the Bronze Age. The Anatolian Shepherd is extremely amiable and loyal to its family. With that said, they're also quite an independent dog breed and will absolutely not hesitate in taking over your house if they have the chance. They are quite tall, standing at 30 inches from paw to shoulder and easily outweighing an adult person. Its ancient lineage and origin is reflected in every single physical aspect of this dog. They are tall and very muscly, as well as having a very broad and sturdy jaw. All these attributes were necessary to survive the harsh climate of the Turkish mountains, as well as being able to fight off the dangerous predators that roamed the area. There isn't a better working guard dog in the world than the Anatolian Shepherd, and they've been working alongside us for such a long time that it gives them a sense of timelessness without equal. Number 6. Caucasian Shepherd also known as the Caucasian Mountain Dog, is an incredibly massive and ancient dog breed. They were originally developed in Russia to defend livestock from dangerous predators such as bears and wolves. And over the years, the Caucasian Shepherd has gotten so extremely good at it, now they've mustered a reputation of being a ferocious protector of the family, able to kill a wolf without problem. They're very imposing dogs. The males can reach 30 inches from paw to shoulder and weigh over 170 pounds. But despite their reputation of being ruthless killers, they are also extremely loving and soft with their families, including other house pets. They are bold, self-confident, and devoted. They are one of the most serious guardian dog breeds and they should never ever be taken lightly. They are very intelligent dogs, but they are also quite stubborn, which makes them hard to train sometimes. There are two main types of Caucasian shepherds. The mountain type with a long hair coat and a heavier body mass, and then the step type with shorter hair and a lighter body mass. Number 5. Neapolitan Mastiff these gigantic, massive dogs stand 31 inches tall from paw to shoulder and can weigh a whopping 150 pounds. It is also the official dog from the Roman Empire. Just imagine this colossal canine garden Caesar. You wouldn't be that far off from what it was actually like. They are also known as the Mastino. They are majestic and absolutely terrifying looking guard dogs. But they are so much more than just a massive, drooling giant of a dog. They are actually extremely affectionate with their family and very good with children. They will even protect the other pets that they might coexist with. 
with. They're not exactly elegant with all their folds and the crazy amount of drool they seem to leave absolutely everywhere, but they are very noble and kind. They were bred in southern Italy as family guard dogs, and they have been serving that purpose for centuries. They do have a little bit of a temper, though, so if you're a novice dog owner, this breed is not recommended. They need firm training and a lot of space to move around. Number 4. Scottish Deerhound This untimely and majestic dog breed is amongst the tallest breeds on the planet. They can stand at over 32 inches tall from paw to shoulder, and they weigh at around 110 pounds. They are one of the most affectionate and loving dogs as well, not only with their family, but with small children and even with other dogs. They are the epitome of the gentle giant. They just want to play and fool around all day long, even if they can look a little bit intimidating on account of their massive size. They are close relatives of the ancient Greyhound, and today they are considered the royal dog of Scotland. They were used to stalk the giant wild red deer in the past. The wild red deer was at least twice as big as the hound, and that is why they are, to this day, extremely resilient and tireless. They have a beautiful and crisp coat, and they come in various colors, but the aficionado's favorite has always been the dark blue-gray coat. Before considering adopting one of these gorgeous dogs, though, you might have to keep in mind the outstanding amount of exercise and activity they need daily. It's quite hard to keep up with them. Number 3. Cane Corso Standing at 28 inches from paw to shoulder and weighing over 100 pounds of pure muscle, these colossal dogs look extremely intimidating and scary. But in reality, they are the exact opposite. They are soft and affectionate and very good with small children. They even get along with other dog breeds. Their lineage goes back to ancient Roman times, and their name roughly translates from Latin as bodyguard dog. The cane corso is very alert and protective. They have rock-hard muscles rippling beneath their short and stiff coat. Needless to say, they would absolutely scare the life out of any intruder that would dare to enter your house. They have a natural talent for guarding, always calm, attentive, and versatile. They love to please people and are intensely loyal, but they can also be quite assertive and willful, so a firm training scenario is best for a healthy relationship with its family. If you're a new dog owner, it would be best to refrain from adopting one of these colossal dogs, or the dog will end up owning you. They are intelligent and athletic, so they require a very active lifestyle, otherwise they can be become quite destructive. Number 2. Great Pyrenees Standing at 32 inches high from paw to shoulder and tipping the scales at more than 100 pounds, these absolutely majestic dogs are amongst the biggest breeds in the world. They are thickly coated and immensely powerful working dogs. They were originally bred to fight off sheep-stealing wolves in the Pyrenees Mountains in the border between France and Spain. Affectionately referred to as peers, they are a mellow companion and vigilant guardians of home and family family. They're so calm and zen that it can be difficult to believe they're hard workers, but that couldn't be further from the truth. They can quickly spring into action and move with grace and speed to defuse any threat they encounter. Their lush and long coat is waterproof and it's always white, or white with gray or brown markings. They feel an unconditional love for their family, and their only goal in life is to protect the ones it loves, sometimes from imaginary threats. The Great Pyramid is absolutely great company and a pleasure to be around. 10 points, definitely a very good boy. Number 1. Bernese Mountain Dog these colossal dogs are sturdy, fluffy, and gorgeous. They stand at over 27 inches from paw to shoulder and can weigh over 115 pounds. They have a beautiful, thick, silky, and long coat that makes them look like a gigantic teddy bear. They are tri-colored 
Jet Black, Clear White, and Rust. They are the epitome of the perfect pet, if you like big dogs, of course. They are extremely good with children and even with other dogs or pets. They are loving, caring, and playful, and they also have a very sweet and affectionate disposition. All these qualities makes them perfect for an emotional support dog for both adults and young kids. They are extremely intelligent and responsible, and they are very good at multitasking. They were bred in the farmlands of Switzerland, and they were used to herd cattle, pull carts, and were used as watchdogs. Even though they are quite calm, they have a lot of energy, so they prefer living in a place where they have easy access to the great outdoors. In a small apartment, they would likely be unhappy and become mischievous. But if trained properly and from a young age, these dogs are the absolute perfect family pets. As you can see, all dogs are sweet if they are treated with affection and properly trained, even if they are as massively big as the ones on this list. Are you a big dog person, or do you prefer the pocket-sized cutie ones? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!